Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you Lord God for blessing the Cancer Collective with a clear, concise message from you okay so shuffling off camera i know it could be a male cancer or um aries sagittarius leo uh i don't know if you put them out cancer if you put them out of your life or you're done with them um or some type of this could be a married man or entrepreneur or someone who does well for themselves you might have shut them out of your life uh maybe because they were making promises that they did not, uh, they made promises, but they didn't, you know, uh, do anything. They didn't make them good. You know, they didn't make you whole in terms of the promises that they made. Um, they were just saying things kind of like blowing smoke up your ass. Um, you're neglecting this person. You've kind of put them on the back burner. Or they're neglecting you and they put you on the back burner. I don't know where you, you fit in there. Um, but there's also an energy of somebody thinking of you over and over again, like intensely. And it might be so that you could come back to them or this is what you're doing, Cancer. I don't know. It's like somebody's really trying to uh, put a lot of energy, effort, time into manifesting you back into their existence, back into their life. Um, this could be you also. Let's see. Um, well, somebody's also have just given up in terms of being the agent of change. There was a time where it was either you, Cancer, or the other person was putting in a lot of effort to make some change happen in this connection. And whoever was doing that, they have since given up. They're like, you know what? I just... I'm done. You've got the Queen of Wands coming out. Very nice. So this could be you, you know, putting yourself first, Cancer, the Queen of Wands being uh, attracting to you uh, a person, energy, things, manifesting what it is you want to come into your life, uh, being charismatic, outgoing, uh, starting the business, being very creative in the things that you do. Um, the vibration that you're putting out there you're, you're attracting that same vibe back so that's what the the cards want you to know also the four wands and the three of cups cancer so um, a lot of feminine energy here um some of you could definitely be doing some real um attraction spells um i don't know you could be sitting in um circles uh of of women i don't know if you guys are you know um high priestess witches or you do something in terms of uh bringing in or manifesting this is a group a social group um there is going to be achievement here and cause to actually celebrate because you have brought something into fruition it looks like you're putting all your energy effort time into a su successful completion of a project it could be something about home real estate you could be in business with a friend or friends sitting in groups of people who want to manifest the same energy as you um, you guys are communicating uh, back and forth okay so where there will be once again there's going to be uh It's going to be a cause for celebration. You're vibing high in terms of entrepreneurship and spirituality and attraction. The law of attraction here. I'm trying to pick up love. Some of you could be in same-sex relationships or you could be in, someone wants you to be involved in that. A, a friend could be looking at you differently now. Some of you are celebrating like this is like a divorce party or you, you getting back on the market or being single or hanging out and going to um, party events, being very social. Let's see what else is going on here for 
Yeah, the page of cups. Good news about business and financial matters. Uh, your dreams are coming into fruition here. Uh, there's a need for you to be more romantic, uh, emotional maturity. All right. You need to grow. There needs to be growth. In terms of your emotions, um, you could also have a child or children here. Um, if something is in between the two of in between the two of you or in between the two things you do. Let's see. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, you could be seeing some profit, some gain from all of your hard work. It says hard work, dedication, effort is going to pay off. Do know that there's a guardian angel with you in terms of your business and what you're doing. Um, let's see. Two cards from out. Wow. Judgment in the nine of pentacles. So you're at an energy where um, maybe you are a business owner. Uh, things are going very well for you. It looks like you don't have a lot of time for love or uh, caring connections because it looks like you're putting all your energy, effort, time, care into your business. It talks about being a savvy business owner. Um, it talks about um, keeping relationships outside of your heart space. It's just not you're just not open to it right now. Um, also, you could want to commit to someone in this mode. You, you, you view them as the perfect catch or a good catch or they check all the boxes here or this is how they view you. Judgment, something about coming back together or making the decision to come back together, making the decision to be single for some of you. Um, some of you have been committed or in a committed relationship. You're very loyal. Your person is loyal to you, dedicated, honest. Um, but it has grown boring, uh, mundane. It's the same thing over and over again. You may be looking at your friends as an outlet um, to bring fun, excitement into your life. Um, good news about business matters are, are definitely here for you. Also, there could be some new love interest or this is what you're seeking. You're seeking more fun or fun relationships or, you know, um, relationships that are carefree no strings attached some of you are dating several different uh women or you're trying to cultivate a relationship to come together and be more reliable you want a second chance with someone or someone wants a second chance with you you have been dependable reliable committed to a person who may have already been in a marriage or committed Yeah, there's some an energy of deception here or keeping something back or masquerading around as if something doesn't bother you or the other person is doing this. Let's see, I'm trying to get the focus right. Oh, that was terrible. Yeah, so it's just like more so um can't say, it just seems as if uh, you're focused on you, your business, what you have to bring to the table. That's off. Um, there could be someone who wants a second chance with you. You can, you're trying to come to some determination. Do you stay in your marriage? Do you stay in your connection? It has grown boring, uh, but you're having success in your business matters here. I don't know if it's making you feel more independent or feeling like you can do something all alone. You come into some culmination, a realization of this is, you know, this is what you want or this is what this is what you want right now. It may not be a forever thing. All right. So this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates. Go over to the website, book your own reading there, Cancer. Um, also, you can donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. You can also ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. Thank you. Many blessings to you.